For today's little adventure, we're going to be reading Wilfred by Ryan Higgins. Wilfred by Ryan Higgins. Our story begins in a faraway place where there once lived a lonesome giant named Wilfred. Wilfred was humongous and hairy, and the one thing he wanted most of all in the whole wide world was a friend. One day, Wilfred came across a little town with little people in it. These little people were very unusual. They didn't have a single hair on their be on their heads, not even the ladies. In this old little town, there was little bald children playing. Wilfred wanted to join them, so he did, and they all ran away. All except one brave little boy who said to the big, the big hairy giant, sit, and Wilfred did. Hmm, so the boy stand on one foot, and Wilfred did. Play golf, and Wilfred did. Play the ukulele, and Wilfred did. Do math homework, and Wilfred did. 3 plus 4 equals fish. 9 minus 5 equals 30 over 16. 2 times 2 equals 22. Reenact the Battle of Waterloo, and Wilfred did. The little boy and the big hairy giant had so much fun that they decided Wilfred would come back the very next day. Meanwhile, the little bald townspeople watched as the big hairy giant lumbered away. They wanted hair too, and with winter coming fast, they wanted it soon. So the little bald people in the little bald town came up with a big and nasty idea. When Wilfred came back the next day, a few of the bald little people stopped him and told him that the big hairy monster was not allowed in their little bald town. If he wanted to visit, he'd have to stop being big or stop being hairy. Since Wilfred couldn't stop being big, the only thing left was for him to, to do was to stop being hairy. So little bald people said he, had, he should let them cut off his hair, and Wilfred did. Without his hair, poor Wilfred was too cold to play with the little boy. Instead, the big hairless giant went back to his cave. Winter came early, and the snow piled up on the ground while the little boy waited day after day for the big hairy giant to return. But Wilfred did not come back. The little boy couldn't understand why. Until one afternoon, trudging back into town, he was met with a big hairy surprise. Some of the little bald people in his little bald town were not bald anymore. When the boy asked where they had gotten all the hair, they replied, just from that some big hairy monster. Oh no, without his hair, the giant would freeze. The little boy had to help him. He ran back home where he made giant mittens out of his blanket. Then the boy went to find Wilfred. The night a blizzard rolled in with great blustery gusts and tossed the boy about like a little bald snowflake and carried away his giant mittens. In the face of disaster and the danger of frostbite, the boy tried to stay calm. The snow fell and the winds through the night. And the next morning, the town awoke, minus one tiny member. The boy was missing. The town was sent out a search, out a search committee. They looked and they looked and they looked for the lost little boy. Until at last, they found him safe and warm because in the night when the boy was lost, he shouted, please save me, and Wilfred did. The little townspeople felt sorry. This creature wasn't just a big hairy monster. He was a hero, and he needed their help. They covered Wilfred in blankets and made a big, free, big fire to help him get warm. Then they took all their wigs and sewed them back together into a big hairy suit for Wilfred to wear. And that's how Wilfred came to have a zipper a smile, and a very best friend. The end.